I say we get some of this paint out and we just add a little bit of detail and that could do the job. Her name is now Midnight Blue. Welcome home, Red Pack. Marcus here and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator and CEO of this channel happened to be the first person on the penny before uh, Mr. Lincoln or the guy on the penny. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Mr. Krabs challenge, camera flip. Mm. <laughs> okay, money. It's about to get a whole lot brighter right back because your boy is here. And today is one of my favorite, 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 favorite series. Because, well, probably because it's cheap. Money talks. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Today, we are gonna be doing the Mr. Krabs Challenge, which means that we are gonna be going to some of the discounted stores like Dollar Tree, Five Below, but a new one today, the 99 cent store, which when I was a kid was actually called the 99 cent store. Um, they changed it to now just being the 99, because only about a fourth of the store is still 99 cents. <laughs> and then Dollar Tree, they're still holding up with that dollar, even though they should have called it the dollar 25 and up tree. So, you know, in this ever-changing climate, things are not always the cheapest, but this series we try to focus on what kind of awesome stuff we can add to a collection or you could add to your collection for a budget as well. So we're going to be going to a brand new store today, the 99 cent store, and then we're going to also be going to Dollar Tree and putting those two head to head to see which one has the best SpongeBob, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, Disney, whatever we define and that fits the vibe merchandise. And we'll also be going to Five Below possibly if those two stores don't really uh serve out the goods. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get our Mr. Krabs challenge on here. We're going to be going to the 99 first, so that way we can see what kind of awesome stuff they have there because we've never been there before. So let's go ahead and hop in the car and head on over to the 99. I bet you've never been to a land it's just sort of this big, right? Never in my life. Yeah, look at that. This is a second story, kind of. Open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., nine days a week. I didn't even know there was that many days in the week. Only here there is. If you stay in here long enough, you live a, live a longer life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna look around. I mean, we're just gonna go from this side to the other side. We don't really have like a method when it comes to 99 cent stores. We've never been here before. So let's go ahead and check out the cards here. Maybe we'll get lucky off the gate here. We know we're amongst friends when you see just starting out already. We got Paw Patrol. That's a given. <laughs> let's keep looking. So we're comparing this to the Dollar Tree, which we see what we find. I mean, we have some, you know, some Disney cards, which is kind of cool, but we're gonna work our way to the toy section and then I think we can expand from there. So let's see it over here. I already see blue because that's, you know, it's a good little, you know, little start at least. So let's check it out. through here they have a slow-mo racing game which that sounds painfully yeah. not fun <laughs> but we also have the blues clues find the friends game and you also have the alphabet game i'm gonna leave these guys right here because you know we got a couple blues clues items i mostly just look for the iconic items when it comes to blues clues but this guy right here i saw i do want to pick up because it comes with like a statue inside of there it's like one you can paint but i think it would kind of look like a really cool little prototype if you know when we open it up maybe we could paint it but even if not i think it would be a really cool prototype type of statue kind of similar to these yeah, I don't know, but this one's just blue, so I figured maybe the quality might be better. It's a little bit bigger. But yeah, we have blue and magenta, but you can see on this one the quality is like, eh. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't work yeah. unless you paint it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one for right now. We didn't get a cart either, but it's okay. We're gonna just keep looking around for right now. Okay, this is not big. When you're working with these prices, it makes you more flexible, you know? <laughs> so I have the, you thought I was gonna show that, huh? No, we have the Paw Patrol Play-Doh power. <laughs> no, but we yeah. have Donatello's bow staff. It's not bad at all for only two bucks, so. Shout out to the Dante Bow Staff. This one's a little bit damaged. Let's see if we can find another one. It's a little cleaner. There we go. That's a way cleaner look on that one. So we got Donnie's Bow Staff right here for two bucks. I mean, I'm sure this was probably like... <laughs> <laughs> to Donnie's seen some things. <laughs> Definitely a little rough. <laughs> but obviously, it's a kid's bow staff. But I mean, for $2, though, that's like pretty nice quality. This had to have been at least 5 to like 10 bucks, you know, retail to get with a costume. So I'm going to grab this. Dude, look at this freaking old pirate freaking Blaster. slinger. You know, dude, when he shoots one of those bullets, it looks like a little mini cannonball. Like a little blunderbuss, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. 
Then over here they have all these Jurassic Parks characters. But why does freaking Dr. Alan Grant look like Steve Buscemi? Yeah. <laughs> he looks a little weird. And then we have also the dinosaur right here. We have the we have the Velociraptor. You have Dr. Ian Malcolm here. Is there a set on the back of these? Oh yeah, there's only three. Oh okay, that's, that's wave set. one. Yeah. I'm excited to see wave two. We have the little peoples uh, with Olaf right here, which is kind of cute. And then we have these little uh, fig pins. Yeah, <laughs> it's just what they look like. It looks exactly like fig pins. You got Legolas, you got uh, Aquaman. Medieval knights. <laughs> Medieval knights though. Okay, and they have these guys right here, which is a SpongeBob product, but these are only a dollar at Dollar Tree. They're asking five bucks here for these. I have a feeling that's why there's so many still here. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> oh, we can get those cheaper. <laughs> yes, we're not gonna pick that up today. They have this weird Alice in Wonderland like labyrinth puzzle, which is kind of cool because right here you have the two keys, you have the ring one right here, and it looks like you try to separate it somehow with like maybe doing a little bit of a maze. I mean, for dollar ninety nine, yep. I think we're down to try that for dollar ninety nine. See if one of us can figure this thing out. I mean, it's Alice in Wonderland branded too. I gotta say that this place, comparatively to Dollar Tree, has a lot more branded stuff, which is a good thing. Yeah, which is nice. So let's keep on looking here. We found three items so far. I mean, you know, we're winning. <laughs> let's keep it moving. Right here, you got the door of the Explorer. Paint my own coin bank and look you can make your own 3d door like that <laughs> i doubt it would come out that good but i mean it is interesting we're not gonna pick this one up though we got a little pool set right here i remember having one of these when i was a kid that was like half this size i remember didn't they used to have like a little spring on it too yeah for, like the actual pool piece but this is a pretty sizable one it even comes with legs man it's kind of the whole system look at those kids one of these kids is from like 1950 and the other one's from like <laughs> 2003 <laughs> yeah. There's completely different timelines. But they have wrestling figures here as well, too. But what I noticed here is the Lightyear figures are only $4. And, like, I wasn't going to pick up some of these. But the fact that they're only $4 here, comparatively to Target, they're, like, $8, $9. Might be a chance for me to actually get some of the ones in the set that I needed. So we have the Zap Commander right here. I think we already have this one, the uh, Lightyear with the Blade here. All right, so I'm going to go with the XL03. And we'll just slowly keep adding these to the collection. We looked around to see if there's another Zap Soldier, but there's not. Uh, that's the other one I would have wanted the most, but it's still pretty cool. It's just got a big dent on the back side of it. We got these Blue Clues figures, but we actually did receive these in fan mail, so we don't need these ones right here. But this must have been where they got them from, which is really cool to see. Like I said, they actually have some stuff. I mean, they have the Paw Patrol stampers, too. Those eyes, those eyes can't be unseen. Working in the Paw Patrol. We've seen some full-on bloodbaths in the Paw Patrol unit. Actually, surprisingly, have a lot of anime stuff. We have the Jujutsu Kaisen figures here. We got Boo as well, too. I mean, it's surprisingly, like I said, like a lot. I'm thinking about picking up one of these. I'm going to see one more closer to my PhD, Doctor of Spongeology. Otherwise, you go into the next thing, which is... Whoa, you almost freaking gave I me got an it. injury. You can be a chef next. <laughs> yeah, you get full service there. I gotta say I like this though right here. I've never seen the Mr. Potato Head. Like obviously it's iconic, but these are the tots. So you can bake your own little tater tot, Mr. Potato. Mitchell is gonna kill me. <laughs> Mitchell is literally gonna kill me with these things. <laughs> with this million warrior. We're gonna need this first aid kit if you keep dropping <laughs> stuff on me. But yeah, the tater tot. I mean, that was not besides the point, because I almost lost my hand. <laughs> you like Mr. Potato Head and just put it back on. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Next section. Every time we do these, I always go home with like useless stuff, but I feel like this isn't useless. USB duck fan. This little USB duck fan is one of the coolest. I can't leave without this. <laughs> how can I how can I walk out without a USB duck fan? He's freaking adorable. You can walk out without it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep it as a maybe for right now, but that's too damn cute. And when I get back to the camera, you're gonna be like, oh damn, I wish I would have grabbed one of those duck fans. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want one? It's your last chance. I'm good. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you want? That's why you want to get these froggy fresh headphones. I exclusively play emo rock. <laughs> Man, I've been wasting money all these years, and I could have got free cable for four bucks. And it's galaxy themed. But dude, look, you have the PBS kids. You remember these like logos? This one in particular, yeah. the classic PBS logo. But no, you have the newer versions of them down here, and it's got this whole list of different characters. This is actually the Kratz brothers. They make the Zaboomafu show. Remember? Oh yeah. Yeah, they have a bunch of them right Arthur. here. Arthur, of course. A bunch of. Oh, there's a new Bob the Bell. They're, they're the new Bob the Builder. The man's got the hardest cheekbones ever. His plastic surgeon said, can we fix it? And he did. I mean, that is a, yes. He's a lot more handsome than the original Bob. Dude, what the hell? You get a whole Nerf keyboard set up here for what? Freaking 10 bucks? You got a keyboard, a mouse, and some Nerf headphones? It's freaking Nerf or nothing. Yes, yes, yes. 
<laughs> there we go. <laughs> the freaking secret diary, the SpongeBob secret diary. That is super cute. It comes with a pen, a little a stamper, a notebook, a lock, some stickers. Okay, yeah, we're definitely picking up this for sure. I'm gonna get one to keep sealed and then one for us to open up in the cavern. See if there's any secrets in there. I really, really should have got a basket. <laughs> I'm just starting to get a little cumbersome. Okay, I grabbed the cart because we started seeing more. You know our rules when it comes to the Ninja Turtles stuff. We only do Michelangelo, so they have Leonardo and Raphael, though. We did do a SpongeBob one of these melting beads, but I think they're all Leonardo. I think they're, oh wait, no, no, dude. Michelangelo and Donatello. Look at that. Okay, it looks like we are getting one. Dude, that 99 is actually kind of sick. Like, you kind of have a lot of stuff here. Oh, there we go, dude. And we also got some freaking three. I'm I'm already saying this is better than Dollar Tree, dude. Oh, by far, yeah. I already gotta say this is way better. We found what? We found two SpongeBob products already. I mean, this, come on. Like <laughs> this, the, yeah, unbeatable. And then we also got the Alice in Wonderland stuff. We got a Buzz Lightyear figure. You wouldn't get any of this at Dollar Tree. Dude, I see some behind you. What is it? I see his eyes. So that makes it three SpongeBob products right here for the pencils too, dude. That's hard to beat. How much they ask for these pencils? Probably a dollar, you think? But they also they have- They can't be more than like a dollar. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of them. Yeah, I'll just grab one. I'll grab two. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grab one. I'll grab two. I'll grab three. I'll grab one. You know, I'll grab the whole thing. Oh, dude. Dude. Who's going? So we have, the, we have the Avatar The Last Airbender marked by color kit. So, dude, that would have been so much easier when you were a kid to like know where to put the colors. So it Instead actually came out decent. Picking it out. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna grab that one. We're also gonna grab the Ooh. color in SpongeBob and Squidward. Nice. Squidward's doing the thing, but Patrick's pulling him. Yeah. <laughs> He's pulling him doing the thing. And Gary's a. It's because Gary's eyes usually don't have like a pupil color. And his skin tone is like Squidward's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you only, look, you only got five colors, Mitchell, so you gotta work with what you got. <laughs> we do have the Ninja Turtles one too, but we're not gonna get that today because, like I said, we're just mainly, mainly looking for the sponge if we can see him or any other Nickelodeon stuff. We got a lot of uh, freaking Ninja Turtles already. You know, so see. Jumbo. Oh, dude. Does it stop? A Rugrats Ooh. one too. Is a Rugrats one as well? Hey, dude, look at this. You get a little Rick and Morty pin. There's also. Oh, but dude, look when you click it, it actually lights up Morty's That's head. Sick. How much do they ask for these pins? It's probably like two dollars and nine cents again. You know how it is. No, it has prices on it. One you got Ice Age. You want some suit or something? <laughs> well, how does Ice Age still have branded products? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Ice Age Collision Course <laughs> with a three-colored, four-colored pin. That is wild. They even have that still. Lots of friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always looking for some. But dude, I don't know. I'm gonna leave the Morty like. I feel like they're probably gonna ask like three, four bucks for it. But it's cool still. I mean, like this is just like you know, kind of oh, not dang. too bad. I mean, yeah. I don't know what the prices are for these bed comforters. Fifteen or ten bucks. Fifteen bucks. Okay. At least that one's 15. <laughs> I would have just done it for the blanket, honestly, if it was like 10 bucks, but... Baka, oh, you my... said one piece, Baka. He said Dr. One Piece? What the <laughs> hell? I don't even know what they said. That hurt my ears so much. But this is right here. <laughs> I got the joke. Technically, that is Nick branded. We're not going to get that, but technically, that no, is no, Nick no. branded. <laughs> Why do they not give you a prize on Toy Story? I know, dude, I'm freaking, they don't give you a prize on stuff that are hiding something. They give you prizes yeah. on certain things. When and you then... go up there, it's gonna be like 20 bucks. You're yeah. like, oh, I'm already, I already scanned it, what can I do? Yeah. <laughs> it's not like I can say something. I'm debilitated socially, so I, I wouldn't say anything either. <laughs> I'm just gonna let that happen and figure it out later. Damn, dude, another Nickelodeon branded item, but it's not anything that we collect too much, though. So we have a Paw Patrol cup here. Sarah, also register too, please. And Sarah's also going to register too. And then we also have the PJ and mask bottle <laughs> here. But the M&M &M cups aren't too bad for like five dollars, you know, if you just need cups in your house, but I got way too many. Okay, so we got pretty loaded up here. This is our haul at 99 cent store. Now we're gonna go to Dollar Tree to compare it, and hey man, this might be our new oh. go-to rather than Dollar Tree. A little side thing, yeah. I mean, if Five Below is always good, but I mean, they don't have the secret diary at Five Below. They don't have these over there at Five Below. There's a lot of stuff we just don't see over there, and you're never gonna freaking see this at Five Below. Oh my Below. gosh. <laughs> you should to justify that at any cost. <laughs> That's amazing. Everything here was thirty-four dollars. That was That's a, actually crazy. That was a steal, dude. I'm we're looking for security. That was, that was <laughs> unbelievable. But even if they did come, I got this. I'll beat the shell out of them with this. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did. I'm sure there. they're gonna be happy to see me leave the store with this stick thing finally. I've been whipping it around this whole trip. <laughs> All right, so we got to the Dollar Tree and Five Below. We're gonna go to Dollar Tree. You know, I don't know if we need to go to Five Below, but that's gonna be hard to beat. That's gonna be hard to beat Dollar Tree. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's check it out. Place starting to look a little lackluster after going there. Yeah, it does. And how is this like a way more popular chain? Probably because there's more convenient stuff for you. But we, for collectors, this is not this is not old up. <laughs> this is not old enough. I used to think this place was gold, but now that I've been to the 99. 
This is just mere silver, mere bronze. <laughs> yeah, this is not holding up nearly to the level we just experienced there. I mean, that was awesome. I mean, we got some of these things. The Peppa, just, that looks good. Actually, it's not too bad, but we don't need Peppa today. They do still have the Perla beat set. They have music in here too, so you have to be super quiet. It's uncomfortable. We got something. We got one thing. <laughs> it's these Hey Arnold, haters gonna hate socks. And, but <laughs> that's better than nothing for a buck. A dollar 25, I mean, we found one thing so far. If we find anything else, we'll let you guys know. <sighs> Mitchell's got some shots, but this is pretty much all we see. <laughs> I had in there was this. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Good old can of Coke. But I also got some dish soap because I mean, getting dish soap for anywhere else besides Dollar Tree is just a waste. <laughs> You're literally pouring it down your sink. It just has to get the food off a plate. <laughs> so I got that. We're gonna go into Five Below, see if there's anything new that we don't already have. But it's mostly probably gonna be stuff we already have picked up because we went there just recently. If you see something substantial, then we'll pick up the camera and let you guys know. Otherwise, we'll be heading back to the cavern. I don't think it's a question who won. Oh, 99 all day. <laughs> I mean, they didn't have this at 99. We also didn't look. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back, and as you guys see, we didn't find much at Five Below either. We just recently went there, so I didn't expect to see much. They usually do like wave updates, where they kind of drop a bunch of stuff, and then we never see it, or we maybe do, and then we do a video. <laughs> but they dropped a bunch of stuff I haven't seen them drop yet, so maybe soon we'll be doing another Five Below hunt. But 99 killed it, dude. We have so much stuff to go through from the 99. Let's go ahead and sit on down, and let's start with the important things. We have one of the greatest finds in Comfort Cartoons history. We have the almighty USB duck. So let's go ahead and pop this open. And of course, we got a bunch of awesome stuff to go through, but it's getting kind of hot in here. It's summertime, so I bought this. That way, I got a nice cool down. Oh, look at this, dude. I can go like this. Wow. And I could go like that, but you haven't appreciated it, so I'm only going to do it like this. But my main thing is, I said USBs. So where does the USB go into the actual duck? And also, where is the charger? There's a lot of questions. I think it's in this little box in the bottom. Man, that's a breeze, dude. Feel that breeze. Tell me that's not a big breezer. That is, that is good <laughs> stuff right there. That's a good breeze. So I will have this fan offside here to help keep me cool. That feels fantastic, dude. I love this. So it runs out of battery. And I will name this duck Donovan. Again. Again, Donovan the duck. <laughs> All ducks are named Donovan. All right, so the first item we're gonna work into here is the SpongeBob Secret Diary. I picked up two of these. One's gonna be going in the collection, of course, but I wanted to pop this guy open, just kind of see the quality of everything and take a look at it. And this whole box is only $4. So let's go ahead and hop on in here. All right, so we're popping this guy open. So let's just break down the prices for this stuff independently. We buy SpongeBob products all the time, so that's pretty easy to do. This pin, you know this pin, would be like two dollars somewhere else like individually packaged yeah and I yeah. mean, look at the click work on that. That's a nice solid pin. And it's actually branded Viacom 2019. So this must have been a product other places that maybe didn't sell or they didn't put it out fast enough. So then it ended up at the 99 for only $3. Like, I don't doubt this whole box is probably $8.99, maybe $10, $9.99 somewhere else. So pretty solid box you got here. So you got the pin right there. And then you've also got these like Lisa Frank-esque stickers. And uh, let's look at the designs here. Mitchell, you're a big fan of stickers. So like, maybe we got one in here. Oh, dude, I know a sticker you're gonna want to put on your binder. You gotta put that one on your binder. The one with Gary with the diamond in there. Yeah. That one is super dope. And then you've got the rainbow flower right here as well. This one says, be your own rainbow and he's doing the imagination sign right there as well. Show your true colors. That one kind of sounds a little too deep. <laughs> Show your true colors. And I know that they're dark, dark, dark black. <laughs> well, dang. I like this one as well. It says, rainbow is my favorite color. <laughs> But not just that, we have the secret diary. Do you expect there to be page designs or no page designs? Just blank paper. I'm gonna say there's at least like a rainbow, maybe a SpongeBob imagination rainbow corner. Okay, so let's get these keys off. So if I die, all my secrets can be exposed. For views. I had it published. It's a bestseller. 
<laughs> Let's go ahead and pop this open. So try and get in that first off, Mitchell. Try and get in this. Oh man. You can't oh. get in this. But with this specially designed lock system, you can use this key right here. Go on in there, no other key would work, and boom, all the secrets. Every single thing you one might need to know is all behind this. So let's pop this open, let's see the page designs. Hey, you got Imagination SpongeBob here. And then, oh, dude, they went all in here. They have a freaking floral pattern on the back side of the pages. You have all the days of the week. And then you also have this back, they have the design on both sides. Like that's actually insane. They went through the levels of putting a design on the back of the pages. So right here, you could draw your secret. And then here's a little stick drawing yeah. of your secret. You doing your secret or doing the secret act. And it's always the best day ever. So even if you got expelled from school or got fired at your job, it's still going to be the best day ever yeah. when you write it here in your journal. But I got to say the quality on that is pretty dang solid. And I will definitely be keeping my cartoon cavern secrets inside of this. So I will write my secret in here right now. And no one will ever know it. Hey, you can't read us. Why not? Does your game start with one L or two L's? <laughs> it start with an L and a general. <laughs> Does it end with two L's or one L? You don't know this? I think it's two, right? No. One. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> This has nothing to do with you, though. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> now no, I'm curious. Oh, damn, I spelled think wrong. What? My secrets are sealed. Now you'll never get into this. Give me your other key back. <laughs> what other key? <laughs> the one that you just scooped onto the floor over there. <laughs> onto your foot, like some kind of prison ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Give me this other key. That's what I thought. And I'll never lose these. I just stare at him. What? You'll never be as cool as this fan, Mitchell. You'll never be as cool as the duck fan. No one can be. Man, he just left the book here with the keys. I already knew where the keys were. See if I can get in here. All right, we got it open. We got it open. Let's see what he wrote. I think Mitchell is cool. He spelled think wrong. Is cooler than the duck fan, actually. Well, that's nice. The fan is pretty cool, though. So it also came with this, well actually also it came with this little metal thing that was around the key and it's an S for Spongebob. Yeah, I'm sure that's what they were going for. <laughs> <laughs> or an S for Sandy. Or for Save Our Skins. <laughs> actually hooked on to the lens. That probably wasn't good for it, but who knows what is. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We got the little inker here. So, oh dude, that's sick. That's the first time you ever got a Spongebob branded stamper. So then you get the Spongebob stampette. Is that what you call a stamping piece? I don't know. And then you grab that, suck up some of that inkage. Oh, you want it right there? Maybe like a, a commission? Oh, well that didn't work out as well as I was hoping. Yeah, it's one of those uh, $50 tattoos where you pick one from the book. <laughs> it's not going to be a best, but it's cheap, you know? You got what you got. This one I promise is going to be a lot more solid tip this over let that ink hit the front you gotta remember this has been here since 2019 <laughs> Jeez. boom there you go look at that qual deep quality <laughs> I can, like barely see it <laughs> <laughs> let's try it on a piece of paper mitchell's bronze skin is making it hard to see <laughs> Oh, it's glittered. It's like glitter. It's just shiny because it was wet. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely could use more ink, but I really do think it's the fact that it's been in there since 2019 is the main issue there. But I gotta say my favorite item is probably the pin. The pin's really, really adorable. I love the color on it as well. But the whole package is honestly worth the money in my opinion. I'll give it eight Krabby Patties out of 10. For the price, amazing. Yeah, you can't beat that. Yeah. We're well, not gonna, you're gonna rate the duck. You're just leaving them behind. You think you're so cool? Yeah, I am gonna rate the duck. You're right. 10 out of 10. You just go rate them higher than Spongebob product already? Well, I have to. Otherwise, you might blow me away. I ain't feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie, Mitchell. You're literally, I see you bracing yourself to hold yourself back. All right, next item. Okay, so next up, we got these three guys right here. We have the SpongeBob one right here with Squidward doing the thing, being stretched out by Patrick, which is amazing. And then we have the Avatar, the last airbender right here. Definitely isn't the last airbender at this point, but he's here. And then we got Tommy, the last airbender right here. Or should I say the last hairbender? Because he's on his last ones. But you can see it actually has like them in skin color right here in the front. It's but maybe they come skin colored and then you draw in the rest with this right here. I just realized, I think the markers are all labeled too, except for maybe. Yeah, they're custom printed markers, you're right. But I'm gonna keep these guys sealed in the collection. I mean, if I wanna color them in, I could just go get another one. But honestly, I just think that they're sick as a package just like this. So we got all these three guys in the collection. I gotta give these for being a dollar. They were a dollar actually. Nice. I'm gonna give them freaking 10. 
10 out of 10 for being a buck. And that's definitely more interesting than your traditional coloring book. Yeah, and it gives you something to do for hours, honestly. Yeah, exactly. And if you want to change up, you can. You don't have to follow the color by numbers. But the only thing you have to kind of commit to and submit to is the fact that, like, no matter how you draw it, no matter what you do, you'll always have these random numbers on your drawing. So people will think, even if you did something amazing, that you just followed the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> and I honestly just like the fact that we get markers of, like, the official Patrick Pink, the official SpongeBob Yellow, and the official, like, Squidward Mint Green Blue. Is Squidward green or blue? You guys in the comments let me know. I said he's blue. Mitchell said he's more green. So very, very fun, though, and a huge fan of the packaging on all three of those guys. Go ahead and hold that up, Donovan. Damn, this guy works hard. <laughs> So next up here we have the Blue's Clues color in piggy bank. So I just thought this would be a really cool piggy bank if it actually has like a very cool sculpt. Just an all white blue piggy bank. I don't have any interest in coloring this thing up to be honest. I just like the way prototypes kind of look. So we got like a really nice quality figure in there. That wouldn't be too bad. Oh, that is not the be most beautiful. <laughs> or should I say most beautiful. Donovan, you you're failing him. Well, you know what, Donovan? Well, the points are going down. It was time for Donovan to break anyway, okay? Points are just dwindling. They're not <laughs> dwindling. Your points are right where they are, so erect and solid. So we have the blue here. The details in the mouth are what's lacking. I say we get some of this paint out and we just add a little bit of detail and that could do the job. Her name is now Midnight Blue. Midnight Blue. <laughs> She's got abs and a mustache. Yes. And look at that lipstick. She had her up night. <laughs> I think we did a pretty good job. I think it could have been worse. Like, the mold was not what I was really looking for anyway, so we had a little fun with it. Definitely could have taken a little bit more time, but I would have been a little bit more patient had they given us a bigger paper, I should. <laughs> I'm gonna rate her a Motel 6 out of 10. <laughs> Motel 6 out of 10 for her. So the next up, we have the rainbow stickers right here. So we have the imagination. A lot of the same designs that we actually saw in that same diary, but there's an even better version of that Gary with the diamond oh, right there You can add to your binder as well I also gotta say I really love this pineapple heart right here as well But this one's my favorite personally Spongebob riding on the magic carpet of jellyfish. Yeah <laughs> Do they even added a freaking 3d dude? That's my favorite. That's cool the little 3d copyrighted sticker by created by Steven Hillenburg Just stick that to your forehead. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna put it on the table here. We'll have to go get another one yeah, we'll have to get another one because that's too sick. We'll leave it like that. We'll just take that one off. I hope that's a real sticker. That is so cool. Yes, it is. Dude. <laughs> so there's a little Viacom 2018 created by Steven Hillenberg. All right. In honor of our man, Steven Hillenberg, the only sticker that is officially on the Comfort Cartoons table. There it is. <laughs> that's kind of sick. <laughs> Shout out to the man, the legend, Steven Hillenberg for, you know, freaking making the most awesome world ever. But you didn't even notice that was gone, really. It looks so unofficial now. <laughs> Where's the Steven Hillenburg? Like, dude, it went from licensed to unlicensed real quick. I'm rating that. I was going to give it a six. But the fact that they went out of the way to make a... Because, I mean, it's copyrighted back here anyway with 2019. And it also still has the same created by Steven Hillenburg everything. The fact that they made that a sticker, I'm giving it an, an, an eight out of ten. Sounds like a good number. Yeah. Sounds like a really good number. All right. So you guys saw me make my SpongeBob Pearl of Bead there. Let's go ahead and we're gonna make the Michelangelo Pearl of Bead. Pearl of Bead Spongebob is knocked over, but he, I made him, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna make the Michelangelo one, which may be a little harder, but let's go ahead and check this one out. Let's see it. Boom. We have the Pearl of Bead set right here. Get out of here, Donatello. Michelangelo's dime to shine. Michelangelo's a lot bigger than Spongebob, though, but you get a lot more beads, too. So let's check this out. Let's go ahead and get started. Mitchell, I need your help on this one, so let's do it. Too 
bad. Not too bad. I mean, it didn't come out. It definitely didn't come out as clean as the SpongeBob one did. We got a little bit of an issue down here where one of the beads fell over to the side. <laughs> but other than that, pretty dang good. I'm pretty happy with it. Just the fact that we built it together and we got to build it as a community here in the rep pack. We got Mikey as a part of our Pearl of Bead crew. So, so far in our Pearl of Bead collection of Nickelodeon licensed Pearl of Beads, we've got Mikey and also Spongy. And I mean, Spongy, we melted down pretty good too, actually, in some spots. But with Mikey, we just had that one little blemish right there. You know, but he's a teenager. That's normal. <laughs> I'm giving this product, again, for freaking $1.25 or whatever it was, maybe two bucks. I'm going to give this 10 out of 10. And it's like, if you had more time, you could do all the Ninja Turtles. And that'd be really sick. You know, put that on like some kind of plank, you know, and put it in a frame. Not the worst. But next product here we've got is the SpongeBob pencils. I don't know what we'll give these for a rating, but I do like the multicolored erasers on top. The designs, again, I'm, no I'm noticing a pattern amongst all of these 99 cent store products. They're kind of that same, um, almost like Lisa Frank collaboration style. Like uh, maybe it's Pride Month. I think it's Pride Month. Because if you look at the SpongeBob's pants as well, I mean, I, I think it is kind of like a Pride Month vibe is why they released all these products. And I think they're really, really beautiful. So we got to add all these pencils to the collection. One pack for me to use while drawing and just kind of sketching stuff. And then this pack, I'm just going to keep sealed for the collection, of course. And I got to give the pencils, um, I mean, I might be biased. They still put lead in pencils. It says number two lead. What do you mean they put lead? What, 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 what else are you supposed to write with? Well, no, I think they stopped putting lead in pencils when we were like in elementary school, I thought, because like lead, you, you get lead poisoning. That's wild. Or maybe it's graphite. I think it's graphite. That's what I'm saying. I don't think they've been putting lead in pencils in a long time, but these ones got lead in them. That's why they're so heavy. But what I'm going to say is I feel like I want to give them a 10 because we have SpongeBob pencil products still coming out in 2023. But what do you think? One for each pencil, a six? Yeah, why not? All right, so six. I'm going I'm to give it an eight. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad giving it a six. They're, they're good pencils. All right, now this one, I have no problems taking out of its packaging. Oh, you yeah, like a little that? problem. No, <laughs> I got no abundance of stabs, that's for sure. You would be terrified if you saw a guy down the alley holding this thing, saying, come at me, Mitch. How does he know my name, first of all? Second of all, yeah, I would be scared. He looks a little a little deranged. He looks like he just shouldn't be out there. <laughs> He's swinging around like a massive Slim Jim. Oh, is that yours? Yeah, you know that's mine. <laughs> no, it's not. Ninja moves. That's unnecessary. <laughs> Giving it a 9 out of 10. Fight me on that score. Now he gonna know it's Donnie's, though, if you don't know the packaging. Slide it back in there. Oh, it looks like a giant Slim Jim. You can't tell me it does it. Like a mega stick. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen a Slim Jim that cool. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> but no, realistically, if you're a Ninja Turtles fan, you don't got a lot of money, you want to have something on display that kind of just looks cool, or kind of cool. Or you just want to knock over friends' things. Yeah, you got this for $2. I'll give that at least a 7, then. Yeah, because if you just want a Ninja Turtle, something that just fits the vibe, you know, just kind of leaned against your wall with a bunch of other Ninja Turtle stuff, like amongst other cool stuff, I would say, I would think you paid at least nine dollars you know so i'm gonna go ahead and say this gets seven and a half pizza slices out of ten again we wouldn't be giving it as high of a rating if we paid like fifteen dollars for it it'd be like a freaking two or a three <laughs> but the fact that it's two dollars i gotta say that's at least a seven and a half or a seven next up here we got the light year i mean i bought a lot of these figures when they first came out and they're twelve dollars so i wish i would have waited Yep. <laughs> but I didn't. So now I'm gathering the rest of them for this price. So the next time I go to the 99 cent store, I might pick up another one and another one until we have the entire set. Right now, I think we have Hawthorne. We have XL1, XL15. And we have XL3 for some reason. And then we just need to get the Zap Soldier and the... Buzz with socks. And I think that we have all of them then. So I'm glad we picked this one up for four bucks. You know, Lightyear is a movie that was interesting. You know what? I like the movie personally. You guys let me know what you guys thought about Lightyear. I know a lot of people didn't like Lightyear and thought it was just kind of unnecessary, but I like space movies, so it was cool. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a number for every inch of chin, which is nine. <laughs> no, for the price being, I'll give it a seven. A good old seven. All right, now right here, Welcome to the Method of Madness, Alice in Wonderland, the movie of many conspiracy theories, the movie of hippies' dreams. Well, let's pop it open and see what is in store. So this right here is one of the hardest puzzles they've ever released. Yeah, ever. Ever. <laughs> So when you're playing with the puzzle, you want to try to figure it out. I that, mean, that's kind of the goal of the puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> that's the first. Stop. I'm trying to give them advice. So when you're trying to figure out a puzzle, you want to learn what's going to make it tick. 
So what you're trying to do is you're trying to find a good spot you can get on in there and slowly find a release hole. Okay, so there's a dimple on the top and there's a dimple on the top as well. Or the bottom, that's the top already. And you're gonna try to figure out where you can get it out from both there and there. So right now I'm, I'm kind of moving here. So I'm actually halfway done. I've actually am, look at this, I have one of the dimples out there. So now I just gotta get the other side out. Yeah. So that that did not happen. We tried, we tried for about good 10, 15 minutes there, 20 minutes, I don't even know how long. It, it seemed like time was never ending with this thing. But we tried, could not get it out right now at least. Mitchell's gonna take it home, see if he can get it out. I have ADHD and this thing will end up in my drywall. Cause I'm reading this off the two cause it makes me angry. I mean, I think it's a good puzzle though at least. So <laughs> I'm gonna go with a six, seven. <laughs> A six, okay. It's a pretty good puzzle. It is a good puzzle. So I'll give it four. So meet in the middle at five, queen of hearts at a 10. All right, but at Dollar Tree, we did find one item and that was a pair of socks. But you know what? I mean, you can dog on Dollar Tree when it came to Nickelodeon products, but Dollar Tree is amazing for like household goods, cheap tools. A lot of people's, including my own house, run on Dollar Tree. That place helps hook up a lot. So if you're looking for Nickelodeon products, you're kind of just lucky you find anything. But this is all they had was this one pair of socks. Where you're looking for Nickelodeon products, they definitely got bodied by the 99. So I think along with Five Below, the 99 might be my next go-to for like cheap entry-level collectibles. But the fact that you can get a pair of branded Nickelodeon socks for a dollar is definitely not bad. And I'm not gonna be a hater, cause they're gonna hate. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and appreciate the fact that Dollar Tree even had this. So shout out to them for having the dollar socks there. And there's some pretty cool ones on top of that. So I'm gonna give the socks, as I do with most dollar products, I'm gonna give it a high rating. I gotta give it an eight. They're solid socks. They feel like nice quality and they were a dollar 25. So does that, that seem like a solid rating for you? Can't beat it. Yeah, can't beat that price. So moving on to the last product, we got a five below, which was Mitchell's Krabby Patty here. And he got so lucky. He got the best flavor of all of the jumbo patties. He got the blue raspberry, but you also got a character in here. And what character have you been going for over and over again? I would like a Patrick. He would like a Patrick. So let's see it here. He would like a Patrick, but we all know it is deepest, most recessed dreams. He would like a gold. Yeah, I'd love to. And you got Squiddy. <laughs> but hold that thought here. I've been looking around my house mm -hmm. and I knew I had to have somewhere an extra. So you can have Patrick. Hey. <laughs> and I think the last time we did this, you got SpongeBob, right? I got SpongeBob. I had Mermaid Man. There's the only other ones that you're getting. <laughs> Mermaid so, Man and now Spongebob. But now you have Conchtree because you got Patrick, you got Squiddy, and you have Spongebob at home. So there you go. Thank now you. you got the whole little conch tree. Thank you. No, absolutely. And your stickers, you got Mrs. Puff. And that's for me. That's <laughs> <laughs> But guys, that is actually it. I, like I said, Dollar Tree, you know, they've been hooking it up for years. So I don't want to dog them too much, but the 99 cent store is definitely an option. So we got to keep our eyes open on, you know? There was definitely some cool stuff there. But on that note, you guys let me know, 99 or Dollar Tree when it comes to collectibles in the comments down below. But without any further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it as always. And so glad we got to add Mikey into the collection. Like I said, maybe most important is that I got to do it with you. So thank you so much for for being here for this video for our Mikey journey and 99 cent store first time experience. But before we head out, you know the drill. Scan it. I'm here from the future and I did it. Actually, um, I, I dropped it on the table. So all of the stationary stuff, including the stickers is gonna go inside the filing cabinet where we have a stationary stack for right now. Hey, it's still holding. Okay, and our Michelangelo pearl bead art is going up with the Michelangelo statue, which eventually will be going on our action shelf, or action loft, eventually. And also expect to see Donatello's staff up there as well. So all of our new activity books, these are going inside of the activity book cubby inside of the bookshelf here. So guys, that is actually it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys smack the like button, subscribe if you're new here. And don't forget we're over on Patreon where you can join for as little as $5 a month and it's the number one way to support the channel keep the lights on in the cavern. And we've been doing Patreon exclusive content. I have a Q&A with my mom. You can go check out. That was so much fun to film. In addition to a bunch of other perks. So just go check it out. And don't forget we're on Whatnot two nights a week, Wednesdays and Fridays. And you get $15 off your first purchase where you can go buy all types of collectibles, whether it be vintage or modern. Absolutely free money. And for collectors, that's like gold. And I'll see you guys over here in this video that I know you're gonna love. And as always, Rap Pack, I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Blue.